Greetings everybody and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will introduce you to a new jailbreak called Blazor Jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 and 9.3.6 and we will see how to install it and use it. The speciality of this jailbreak is that it has the unjailbreaking capability built in. This jailbreak is created by GeoSnow. You can check this GitHub page and then download the package. All right, so while at the GitHub page, just scroll down and you will see releases. Just click the stable release, scroll down and then download this IPA to your computer. Also to install this IPA, you will need sideloadly. Just go to the sideloadly page, scroll down and download sideloadly for your Windows computer. It is also available for Mac OS. For this, you will need iTunes. Just download iTunes from the given links. If you have installed it from Microsoft Store, please uninstall it and reinstall it from the given links. Now open Sideloadly as an administrator. Now simply connect your iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 device via USB. Now simply click this IPA button. Select the Blizzard jailbreak IPA that you have downloaded and click open. Now put your Apple ID in this field. Simply click start. If you are doing this for the first time, it will ask you for the password, put it in and then it will sign and install the app onto your device. All right, you can see it says done and the app is now installed. On your device, simply go to settings, general, scroll down and you will see device management. Open it, you will see your ID, then trust and trust it again. All right, it is done. Now go home and open the Blizzard jailbreak app. Now simply click the jailbreak button. The process will start and it will just prepare the system and install CDA. Now the device will respring. Now after the respring, when you get back, you will see CDA on your home screen. That's great. CDA is properly working and I am now jailbroken on 9.3.5 on iPad mini one. Now guys, if you wish to uninstall this jailbreak, simply you will go home and then you will now restart your device. After restarting the device, get back home and again open the Blizzard jailbreak app. Now you can see that the uninstall Blizzard jailbreak button is now enabled. Just turn it on and then click remove Blizzard. It will start removing the jailbreak now. You will see storage almost full, click done. Now it will reboot and like so when you get back home after restart, you will see that CDI is now removed. So the jailbreak is now completely removed. Like so, if you wish, you can jailbreak your device again using this tool. You can also patch TFP0 if you want using this button. That's all for this video guys. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.